So just in case some of you are not familiar with the Ned Rig, this is basically what it is. Um, you have a mushroom style jig head. These particular ones are uh, 1 15th of an ounce. And we're gonna pair that up with a Z-Man um, Finesse TRD. This is a PB and J color. Very simple setup, very effective setup. Stay tuned. this hole that I've been going at from the opposite side. See what happens. So wet. Try to get
just when I was about to give up and move on to another spot, <laughs> I found a little bass. How cool is that? It's a decent size. Let's see. We can uh we can measure him Uncle Steve style. One, two, three, four. He's about 16 inches. How about that? Pretty little guy. Z-Man did a really good job of making these bodies tough, man. I can't even like get this thing to tear where I can re-rig it. Ready to go again. There's really no sense in losing that rig <laughs> because the water is only like ankle deep right here, so I'm going in after it. Whew. Sorry, we got knee deep quick. Oh god, it's so cold. Whew. Whew. Estimated. Man, that was this place is so beautiful. Look at this. This is where I caught that bass. Right up in here. Right up in here is a little deep hole. I spooked everything out of here right now. Alright, so I, I got hung up in a tree and I lost the body to my Ned rig. Man, that was a load of fun. Trying to make my way back across to my shoes in my backpack. Woo! This is soft. Oh man. I don't want to go that way. I guess I have to go back through the sand. This is so liberating man. Just you know I, I hope that these videos encourage people to really just get out and explore um, you don't have to have access to large lakes and huge bodies of water to get out and have a good time catch fish um, I just caught a 16 inch bass in a creek that's maybe 15 feet wide so don't let um, the terrain that you live in. I mean, I live in a city. I'm in an urban environment. 40,000 people. We don't have any public lakes here. Every every lake in our city is part of a neighborhood and you have to either know somebody that lives back there or trespass to fish. And um, that used to be a deterrent to me. Um, I won't lie. I used to be afraid to go out experiment search for new places to fish because I didn't you know I was embarrassed about climbing around in the woods 
but since I lost the ability to care, <laughs> I, I, I really do care. Um, but I just, you know, I'm, I want to be an explorer. I don't care, you know, the cool thing about doing this is that a lot of people won't do it. A lot of people won't get out here and walk around and get their feet muddy.